Hi, welcome to a new chapter on the Listening Strategy video book. As advanced listeners, you might be interested now in listening to longer speeches and talks, right? Uh, well, today's strategy will help you with that. The name of the strategy is Identify the Main Points in a Lecture or a Speech. Lectures and speeches are, as you can imagine, harder material. Why? Because they are much longer and they are full of technical language. Uh, the idea of this strategy is to help you manage this kind of talks. There are easy steps that you can follow. What's the first thing to do? There's no way you're going to understand something that is uh, about a topic that you're not familiar with. So you can choose a topic uh, that you're familiar with or you can find out in advance about the topic. Vocabulary, um, technical language and stuff, right? The second step is connected to the strategy. Basically, what you have to do is identify the main points. If you can follow the structure of the lecture, you'll have it. Uh, presenters usually use things that are called cues and signposts to do that, right? So what you're going to do uh, while you listen is pay attention to these cues. Cues are sentences, like, uh, so far we have discussed the implications of this will tell you what to focus your attention on. Signposts are transition words that speakers use to keep the audience connected. You will be able to understand what's going on in the talk, right? Let me give you some examples. Uh, for the introductory part, you will have things like, today's lecture covers, today I'd like to discuss, or let's look at, for comparison and contrasts, you will hear things like, similarly, both, likewise, however, instead of, nevertheless, although, on the other hand, despite. For uh, sequence or enumeration, you will hear things like first, secondly, thirdly, next, then, finally, uh, in addition to lastly. For cause and effect, you will hear things like uh, sorry, because of this, for this reason, the cause of, as a result, therefore, thus, and uh, for the conclusion, you will hear things like, so in short, uh, just to review or to sum up. If you focus on these words, you'll be able to understand the structure of the talk, and that will help you understand it better. 